what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another part of my UFC Undisputed 3 career mode we're picking up right where we left off last time we just took our first L our first loss of our career and uh, not only was it fight of the night it also turned into fight of the year so uh, that was a huge slap in the face getting a big paycheck for a fight that we lost the only fight we've lost so far um, and all that work we did to climb up the rankings in the first two episodes have just completely fell through. We're right back at the bottom of the ladder. We're ranked 27 of 30, I believe it is, total. So We've really been uh, knocked away, knocked down by this uh, last fight. But I'm not going to let it get to me. I'm only going to improve. I'm only going to get better. So uh, let's schedule our next fight and just get straight on with it. Let's not waste any time. Let's not mess around. Let's pick our next opponent and uh, see who we can exact revenge on. Uh, got a fill-in fight here. I'm just flicking through. Yep, not a single main event or co-main event offer anymore. We've all got main card offers or even the undercard in one instance. Um, I'm gonna have a quick flick through here and have a look, see who I want to fight next. But um, I'll get back to you guys when I decide on my next opponent. Okay, I've uh, done my research, I've had a flick through, seen who I wanted. Um, this is the highest ranked opponent we've got, he's 10 and 3, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. It is a fill-in fight, so we are a bit of a disadvantage there, the odds are stacked against us. Um, but we've got the most to gain and almost nothing left to lose, so I don't really see too much risk taking this fight, even if we take another loss. We can't fall much further down the ladder, and I think we've got a good chance here, we are a lot better rated than our opponent in terms of attributes and overall. Um, the only offensive skill he has better than me, and it is by quite a large amount, is clinch grappling. Uh, so avoid grappling with him in the clinch. He's got a few spotty defensive skills that are better than mine, but for the most part he doesn't really stand up against us. Uh, his last fight was against Wade Smith, which he won by his second round TKO. So uh, probably a good offensive power. That being said, that TKO win is his only TKO win of his career. The rest of his um, victories, which we haven't seen, have come by submission. He's never made it to a decision. Uh, he's good at judo and submissions, who would guess, and grappling. So uh, probably avoid the feet, with the, uh, avoid the ground with this guy. Stick it to the feet where I can work on my takedown defense. Um, I think I'm going to do something different as well for this one. Obviously. Coming up soon will be the parts where it's just fights and I'll cut out all the training, um, unless you guys want to see the training. But I think for this fight I'm going to show you the last of the features of the things we can do um, in our sort of career mode memory and I'm going to learn some new moves. Uh, change an opponent, Fox agrees to step in and take on that guy on short notice. So uh, yeah, we're taking a short notice fight guys, we've got one action and I'm going to use my one action for a camp session which I will do a bit of research again and I will come back to you guys in a second. Okay so I know where I want to go and what I want to do we're going to go down to camp sessions and when this loads in we'll have a selection of camps we can go to uh, there's also the American Kickboxing Academy, American Top Team, Black House, Wolf Slayer, uh, Greg Jackson's gym for example uh, we can go to all these different gyms and they all have their own moves and uh, fighters we can learn a new move or we can level up one of the existing moves we know um, like my ducking, ducking hook that I have at the minute there's a ducking right hook as well um, but I've already selected the move I want somewhere way down here uh, scrolling and scrolling there we go I want an elbow from the open guard that's the one I want Uh, this will just basically mean that if the fight does go to the ground and I'm in the opponent's guard I can uh, throw some elbows again same with training we can do it automatically or we can do it manually um, I don't know what I'll do overall I'll probably do it manually but off camera obviously but for this one I will show you guys how it's done and uh, I will cut back to you guys when we're into the training program okay so we're in I've just got a there we go, break his grip and throw some elbows. You get a nice quick practice run like that. Um, just help you uh, learn what you're doing first of all. 
your opponent won't really resist but now we get the difficult part where my opponent's going to try and resist they're going to hold me in guard they're going to block me and I've got to try and sneak in three elbows there we go I'm already up to two before two minutes runs out to learn the move I don't know what the advantage is of doing this manually uh, I guess you learn how to use the move rather than just assuming you know how to use it and you get to use it in a real fight because obviously this is quite well simulating what a real fight would be and the opponent's obviously not going to stand around and let me throw elbows at them so there we go I managed to get it quite early but yeah that's a new move I did want um, a submission just in case I did get knocked like a if I had like a rolling knee bar or something and I did see one but I think we need higher submission offense before we can unlock that because some moves are locked um, behind your stats others are your um, loyalty to the gym which you'll get into when you pick a camp to stay at permanently um, later on in the career mode when you join the UFC um, but for now yep yeah, I've learned a new move learned some elbows so hopefully I can bloody people up in future and I need to get away quickly I swear THQ, Ukes and the UFC are just trying to get me copyrighted right now um, for a game they made in 2012 like nearly 10 years ago like nine years ago but that's besides the point, that's our only action guys, we learned a new move, that's all we can do. Um, we are the third from last fight, so we're just under the co-main event. So we've slipped a little bit, but we're still a big draw for the uh, WFA, at least I like to think so. Um, he is the Butcher, we are the Kid, he's 10-3, and three, we're 3-1. and one. Uh, We've got 8 years younger than him, we're an inch taller. And obviously he's from Tokyo, Japan, I'm from Birmingham, England. Uh, Another Birmingham uh, fighter in the co-main event. Well, uh, hopefully our buddy Andre Kendall, Andre the Colossus Kendall. Uh, hopefully he can beat the Prince of Pain and uh, lightweight championship fight in the main event. So uh, not really fussed how that one goes, but I'm hoping our my Birmingham buddy wins the next fight, guys. Let's uh, see if we can get into the fight and see if we can uh, get back to our winning ways. Okay, here we go. We are on the main card. We are eight years younger and it's taller, same weight. And we have a colossal five inch reach advantage. That is huge. I just gotta take this fight calmly. Let's touch gloves, that's it done. Uh, I've also switched up the stamina settings by the way guys. I'm now on simulation uh, stamina, which apparently from what I've read is the way to be it's a lot better than default, it's a lot more realistic so I'm actually going to have to watch my stamina now so that's something to consider, throwing a lot of wild strikes there my opponent let's take it back and take him down, there we go and let's go for a rear naked choke early this is the first time I think you guys have seen a submission attempt in the game at least in the series anyway, can I steal it? just about we get the tap Mi uh, was that a minute 20 in my first submission victory against a guy who was supposed to be really good on the ground game but the fight is over quickly so hopefully we can compete in a new event quite soon but we managed to beat our opponent safely cleanly he had nothing to offer us really we're back on our winning ways we've broken the back of the uh, losing streak even though it was only one fight we lost so hopefully soon we can crawl our way back up the rankings and uh, fight our opponent who beat us once more and hopefully we can get revenge, avenge our loss and then soon after that hopefully we should be fighting in the UFC. I still don't know if that's what I want to do yet, if I want to go straight to the UFC as soon as they offer it or if I want to hang around the WFA for a little bit and become WFA champion. I'm not 100% sure because there's only 48 fights, this isn't indefinitely, there's no like uh, vitality system so I can't just keep going without taking a lot of damage I've got to decide in these 48 fights what do I want to do you know do I want to have a lot of these fights in the WFA um, get a lot of wins under me you know really build up my character before I move on or do I just transition straight into the UFC guys I'm gonna have to uh, worry about that another time but that's another win in our record uh, as you can see not a lot of damage done not a lot of stamina lost we're not gonna save the replay that's what I've got this for, I'm recording it all. But uh, yeah, we haven't avenged our loss yet, but we're winning again. Let's see if our pal from Birmingham, who I'm going to assume we trained with, 
Oh, we actually got submission of the night. We got submission of the night. That's pretty good. Our first submission and submission of the night. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll even get submission of the year. We'll have to wait like 12 months to find out in game, of course. Uh, so I'm quite happy with that. The question is, did I bump? And uh, Andre the Colossus Kendall won his fight. Nicely done. So good day for Birmingham. Good day for England today uh, in the WFA. And fight the night and knock out of the night goes to the lightweight championship belt. Who the uh, champion retains the belt. So uh, fair play to him. I won't go down the card because there's probably not a lot to see. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's it. I'll quickly go through the um, end rankings. Obviously, our streak has now gone from one loss to one win. Uh, we don't have any game plans, so there'll be nothing on the next page, really. That's, we've got a lot of points. I should probably spend that soon. Um, and yeah, all our sponsors, well, our three sponsors, have uh, leveled up to level two. So I think they give us a little bit more cred now. We've got a few more options available to us. Uh, we'll see what the end result screen the news says before us and then uh, we'll schedule our next fight guys and hopefully we can get a second fight in this episode and then hopefully the episode after this I can get about three fights an episode and we can really start cranking out episodes after that. Fox comes out on top over opponent, uh, Fox took the, sub the fight on short notice and still pulled off a stunning submission. Thank you very much, my first ever attempted submission and it goes off without a hitch rear naked choke for the win very early in the round. I'm quite happy with that guys, let's uh, crack straight on and pick our next opponent. Okay so I have looked ahead and I've seen what possible opponents we've got for our next matchup and it's between two choices but I think I have made my decision of who I want to fight next um, and I think you guys will probably understand my reasoning but I'll explain it anyway when we get to it so for now we're going to go into schedule fight um, so I think the best fight for us in terms of ranking right now is Stephen Leclerc who I believe we have fought before um, it is however only a main card fight uh, he is ranked 23 so um, yeah we have beat him before uh, in fact his last fight was against us So his last fight was a loss but his last win was against another of our opponents who is also uh, of consideration to us because we go down to Billy Madsen it's a co-main event fight he's ranked one behind Stephen Leclerc so this could be better for us like I said we have beaten before uh, his last two fights have been back-to-back -back losses against Stephen Leclerc and then me so uh, let's make his next loss against me as well I think because we had quite a controversial finish last time it was really weird um, I felt really bad because I struck him when I shouldn't have, when he tried to touch my gloves, I felt awful. And then I knocked him out cold with that weird uppercut, so I'm definitely going to run it back with him. Looking at the stats, in almost every way, especially in terms of attributes, I'm better than him. He's got some better skills than me um, when it comes to like, Muay Thai. Uh, most of his fight, well, all of his fights have been knockout or decision wins. He's a, strong, he's a pro kickboxer, he's got strength and heart. Uh, we have athleticism, heart, and dangerous elbows, apparently. Uh, but now we've shown that we've got a bit of a submission game as well, so that could be a, a new threat to him. But yeah, 10 and 5 record, not the best. He's not probably the highest ranking opponent we could pick, but for personal reasons, I am going to pick this fight. Billy Madsen is our next opponent. We're going to see what the news says about this fight, and then I will I think I'm just going to skip the fight camp, and we'll cut straight to when the fight happens, straight to the fight card. Uh, gotta love the old PlayStation 3 loading screens. Clive gives Madsen a rematch. Madsen believes he's got a formula to shut down Fox. Well, he's hoping that we can pass it off as not just lucky this time. We're going to run it back with him. And we're going to prove once and for all that we are the better fighter. So guys, I will see you at the fight cards when we take on Billy Madsen one more time. Training camp is over. It's time for our rematch. Uh, Manchester England versus Birmingham England two English fighters laying it all on the line he's trying to uh, make up for his loss he's trying to reclaim that bit of face he lost and again I suppose once again we're fighting for the nickname of the kid I guess loser has to change their nickname but we'll never know because if I beat him I'm probably never going to uh, see him again and if I lose I guess I'll change my nickname but another fighter from Manchester in the main event 
But uh, let's focus on our fight. We've had more fights put together. I say he's had basically more than double, triple our fights actually. He's had exactly triple our number of fights, so he's very experienced. Um, and he might actually put up a bit of a challenge this fight, so we're going to have to wait and see what goes down. I'm hoping we can get the W once again. Another, another loss would set us back massively, and at this point in our career, I don't think we can afford it. I'm probably going to name this episode like Recovery or something, because this needs to be our recovery episode. We need to make up for the lost ground, get back on our feet, get back in a good position to uh, avenge our loss, hopefully next episode. So, But... Here we go guys, as soon as we're loaded in, we're going to hopefully prove that last time wasn't a fluke and that we can easily beat this man. Here we go, co-main event, which seems to be where we spend most of our life honestly. Uh, we're 22 now, we're getting on a bit age-wise, we've got a reach advantage as well, so that's something to bear in mind, probably stick him at range, use the jab a lot if I can, touch gloves, so I was worried he didn't want to for a second. Try and use head movement. There we go. Throw some uppercuts. Remind him what happened last time. You've got to watch the stamina. This uh, simulation stamina is a lot different as well. A lot different from what I'm used to. Oof, nice uppercut. Some heavy hooks there. Okay, just watch the stamina. Got to be very careful of that. I am going to work his body a lot. Nice duck under for the hook there. I'm hoping that if I can cause enough damage to his body, he should be... Oof, nice Superman there. He should be too tired to continue the fight, and hopefully that'll mean he's slower, his guard will be lower, and hopefully we can uh, finish him off. But obviously I'm going to headhunt a little as well. Hope to open some cuts, throw some heavy hooks. If I can get the fight to the ground, I might even throw some elbows. There we go. He's keeping his guard high, fair play to him. I burnt a lot of stamina there, so we've got to be careful. Nice push kick, but he misses. Ooh, spinning back first. I really should learn some new moves, I think. I'm very... I'm very much a boxer at the minute. I have, like, three punches. I have a jab, a hook, and a uppercut. That's about it. Ooh, he is rock. Let's work that body. Throw some heavy hooks there. But he covers up well. Okay, two minutes to go with the rounds. More heavy hooks, even getting rocked again. Alright, his stamina's looking worse than ours, which is a good thing. Oh, missed the Superman there, that's good for us. Those Supermans are heavy. Alright, he's doing a really good job of covering up here, and I'm wasting a lot of stamina, so I do need to be careful. Historically, when I start a new career mode in any UFC game, I've always been really bad with uh, stamina management, so. Definitely something I need to consider going forward. Maybe throw some more points into cardio in future. God, his body and his head health is looking really rough right now, but not enough to rock him just yet. Not enough to do too much damage, though. Looking at his stamina, my man is struggling. There's definitely some uh, redness on his sides so there. Let's clinch up, take the back. We know what happened last time we did this. There's some ground and pound. Ten seconds to go. Going more south. And he managed to get up just as the horn sounds. We go into the second round. Uh, is this the first time we've ever been to the second round? I think it might be. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm working so much these days, I don't have enough time to do these episodes. No, I think we've been to the second round before. Or have we? I honestly don't know. This might be our first time going to the second round. But uh, looks like the cutman's working up. Oh my god, his eye is looking rough. Okay, so the coach is saying keep it standing, continue to strike, and look up for ways to set up counter-striking. So, yeah. Just got to focus a bit more on head movement, and look for a counter shot. I'll keep that in mind. Obviously, looking at us there, we did look to be pretty good. No major swelling, no cuts that I could see. It was a good head kick on his part, obviously. Uh, we've got a bit of a phobia from head kicks, I think. Three hooks in a row, look at that. But yeah, our only loss has come as a result of a head kick, so I very much have that fear. So yeah, here we go for the second round. Okay, and he stands up from the stall. That eye is still very swollen. Okay, see if we can make something of this. Do you want to touch gloves? Nope. 
Ooh, there we go. Rocked him again very early. Throw those heavy hooks to the body. Didn't focus on covering up on the body this time, and that might have cost him a lot. Ooh, sat him down that time. Let's finish it with some strong ground and pound. The fight is over. We win the nickname, the kid. We are the superior fighter. No way in hell that was a fluke. I think we're finally back on track, guys. And hopefully, hopefully this means we're going to get another shot to avenge our loss. And hopefully soon the UFC will send another scout to check in on us. And who knows, maybe we could be finding the UFC within the next few episodes. That is the dream. But for now, I'm very happy with that result. We get TKO finish. He was not defending intelligently at all. Dropped him hard. Finish with ground and pound. That is a good result. That's a good finish. And uh, we push on. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. Uh, so I guess I will see you guys at the... I suppose the end result screen or the... I suppose I'll, I'll see you guys back at the card and we'll, uh, we'll check out the results. So we are back at the results screen. As you can see, we won by TKO 33 seconds into the second round. Like I said, we won the nickname The Kid. I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, the challenger lost in the light heavyweight championship fight. Uh, it went the distance by the look of it, but uh, the champion retains. Uh, Okay, so knockout of the night and fight of the night go to Deshaun the Punk Jones. And uh, hey, it's Texas boy again. Uh, he lost again, I think. Okay, and no submission of the night. So I'm presuming all fights ended in TKO except for the main event which ended in decision. Fair enough, okay then. So if I'd have just died in for a submission like I was tempted to, I would have won submission of the night. So it probably would be cheating technically. Uh, I'm still one to watch in terms of popularity. Uh, stats haven't really changed. MMA Elite, all my sponsors are going up. Sponsors are liking what they're seeing, they're paying me good. Like I said, they continue to pay, I'll continue to perform, that's the way it works. I think. But uh, yeah, things are going pretty good guys. I'm probably going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, I do have the next part recorded, I've just got it edited up. Oh, and we have some new sponsors, Boost Mobile, Form Athletics, Muscle Farm, Zyance, and Ironstar all want to sponsor us now. So uh, I'll probably have to edit my kit a little bit before uh, next episode. And uh, yeah, I'll get that all sorted. Get some new sponsors, different looking trunks, and uh, maybe a new t-shirt, a new hat or something for the next part. So you guys have got that looking forward to. You guys have got that to look forward to. I can't speak today, guys. I am so sorry. Uh, Deja Vu. Fox showed the first meeting was no fluke when he took home the TKO win. Yep, like I said, guys, TKO win. Nice, easy. We proved it wasn't a fluke. We beat uh, Billy Madsen, and that's probably the last time we'll ever fight him, I'll be honest. But who knows, maybe he'll make it into the UFC as well, and he'll fight for us, you know, fight against us when we're champion one day. Who knows? No one really knows. But that's going to be it for the episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. If you didn't, by all means, feel free to leave a dislike. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for me, any, uh, if you've got any suggestions for me, any hints or tips, please do leave in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you guys. And if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really means the world to me. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and hope you all have a wonderful day.